ஹலோ வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு த செகண்ட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த வீடியோ ஃபார் தி சாங் இளைய நிலா பொழுகிறதே ஃப்ரம் பயணங்கள் முடிவதில்லை இஃப் யூ லைக் டு வியூ த காட்ஸ் கவர் ஃபார் தி சாங் ப்ளீஸ் சி பார்ட் ஒன் வீடியோ லிங்க் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பிலோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி த ஸ்கீல் த டைம் சிக்னேச்சர் த ஸ்டம்மிங் பேட்டர்ன் அண்ட் த காட்ஸ் டு வியூ த கம்ப்ளீட் காட்ஸ் இன் போத் ஒரிஜினல் ஸ்கீல் and the transpose scale please see the description below the scale of this song is originally in e flat major to make it easier we are going to transpose it to d major scale so please place your capo on the first fret the time signature for the song is 44 we will now see the list of chords used in this song in the transposed version The first chord is A major. The next chord is D major 7th. When you hold A major, move your fingers one string down. That is D major 7th. The next chord is B minor. The next chord is D major. The next chord is D flat major. There are multiple ways to hold D flat major chord. The easiest way to play for the song is holding the D flat major. Hold D major and move your fingers one fret down and play only the first three strings. That is D flat major. The reason I am playing D flat major in this position is because in the chord progression when you play for the song this chord d flat major comes right after d major so when you play d major just move one fret down and play only the first three strings it becomes easier in the chord progression the next chord is g major the next chord is f sharp major in g major move your fingers one fret down f sharp major the next chord is f sharp minor in f sharp major remove the middle finger that is f sharp minor the next chord is e minor and the last chord is E minor 6th The way to hold E minor 6th is when you play E minor add your pinky on the second string second fret The reason I'm saying second fret is because we have placed the capo on the first fret That is E minor 6th These are the list of chords used in this song We will now see the strumming pattern that I have used in my part on video it goes like this it is down 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 up slow down 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 super slow down down up down up down with the actual tempo of the song ilayanila vigirade idayamare vigirade that is the strumming pattern the beauty of the song is for most of the lines the chords change in the middle of the word which means there is more than one chord in a particular word we will now look at pallavi chords line by line for the first line ilaya ni is rest no chords la poligira is a major they is b minor the next line idayam varai nanagirade idayam va is b minor from the previous word rai nanagira is a major they is b minor 
and Ola Pogo Megam is also B minor from the previous line and Kana Kanu Me Kana Kanu is also B minor and for the May it is A major we will see these four lines together Ilaya Nila Origirade Idayam Varai Nanagirade Ola Pogum the last line this could be tricky to play for beginners because there are quick chord changes but with practice it becomes easier so the last line vira kanu me vaname vira kanu is d major me is g major for vaname there is a small gap between that me for kanu me and vaname for the va in that small gap you play e minor and for vana it continues and for the me for vana me there are two chords in quick sequence they are f sharp and b minor so we will see that last line slowly when you play that f sharp and b minor in quick sequence for me in vana me you mute it slightly to give a better feel please do not sustain it we will see the last line again one more time goes to the first line ilaya nila porigirade so that is the end of pallavi chords we will now look at pallavi chords with a slow tempo of the strumming ilaya nila So that is end of pallavi chords we will now look at charnam chords line by line for the first line of charnam varum valiyil pani malayil varum vali is a major il pani malay is d major il is f sharp minor and for the second line paruva nila dinam nanim paruva ni is f sharp minor from the previous word la dinam nanayam is d major so these two lines together the next two lines mugil eduthu mugam thodaithu vediyum varai nadai palagum mugil eduthu mugam thodaith is d major from the previous line for tu in thodaithu it is d flat major and vidiyum vare nadai palagum vidiyum va is also d flat major rai nadai pala is f sharp minor gum is a major so these two lines together the next four lines are exactly the same and has the same chords except for the 
last word paragum for the first time in the instance we play a major for the second instance we play d major 7th for gum min paragum so we will see the second instance the change is only for the last word paragum varum valiye ani madaye paruvani la that is the second set of four lines in charanam now we will see the last three lines of charanam vana vidhil mega urvalam vana vidhil is d major 7th from the previous word mega urva is a major lam is d major 7th the next line kaanum bodile aarudal tharum kaanum bodile is d major 7th from the previous word arudal ta is a major room is d major 7th so these two lines together vana vidhiya mega urvala kaanum bodile arudal ta the last line paruva magal vilgalile கனவு வரும் பருவ மா இஸ் டி மேஜர் செவன்த் கல் விழிகளி இஸ் இ மைனர் சிக்ஸ்த் அண்ட் லே கனவு வா இஸ் ஜி மேஜர் ரூம் இஸ் எஃப் ஷார்ட் மேஜர் ஆஃப்டர் யூ ப்ளே த எஃப் ஷார்ட் மேஜர் ஃபர் வா தட் ரூம் இன் வரும் யூ ப்ளே எ பி மைனர் கார்ட் பிகாஸ் இட் கனெக்ட் டு த பல்லவி வி வில் சி த லாஸ்ட் லைன் ஸ்லோலி கனவு <laughs> down down up down down up down and b minor we will see the last line for the last time paruva maga vegalile kanavu var ilayani va that is the end of charanam chords we will now look at charanam chords with a slow tempo of the strumming varum valiyil pani malayil paruvanila dinam nanai mugi
so that is the end of sternum cords i hope you find this video tutorial useful to follow thank you for watching